Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today we're finally making a video on Bartendotron. Bartendotron came back when they removed Bran from the hero pool in the battlegrounds, and Bartendotron is a pretty interesting hero. It's one I actually routinely avoided before because he was pretty boring, and I never really figured out why he was any good. Now, upon a suggestion that I got maybe about a week ago that Bartendotron might be pretty good because you can maybe change up your tavern up breakpoints, I started experimenting with him, and I kind of got it down pretty well. The idea is that you use the different breakpoints to get an additional minion on the second round and you can tavern up typically one turn earlier later on. And that can be significant. Not so much because the gold you save, you really do get like three gold if you're playing Bartendotron. Most games you don't go to tier six and most games you kind of have to have a tavern tier up at an inconvenient spot. So it's kind of like three, maybe four gold advantage playing Bartendotron. He's obviously not an amazing hero, but he's actually pretty good and he's better than you think because of the breakpoints involved and he's better than you think because you get to those tavern tiers one or two turns earlier than everyone else. And that is why he's quite strong. Because you get to the tavern tiers sooner than other people, you are dealing with complete minion pools. Now, the minion pools, the cards that are offered in Bob's Tavern, they're shared with the other players. So basically you have to think of it like this take a very popular tier five card like Baron Rivendare. There's gonna be, I think it's um, nine Baron, yeah, nine Baron Rivendares in the card pool. There's nine of each five star card in the card pool total. There's gonna be all nine of them if you're the first one at tier five. But if you're the last one at tier five, it's probably gonna be like four of them left. So the chance that you actually get one is substantially lowered if you tavern tier slower. So the faster tavern tier has these small advantages you really get to feel when you're playing the game, but they're there and Bartenatron makes pretty good work out of them. So I recommend you guys give it a try and uh, learn the breakpoints. I'm sure there's a few more tips and tricks with him, but I'll get you guys started with today's video and hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I want to do a Bartendatron run. I think things things were missed on Bartendatron. I don't know if it's like a better strategy, but I have seen people use different strategies here. So we're getting the big demon because it's pretty good to buff it. This is just TFT but Hearthstone. Why do people say TFT when they talk about auto chess? TFT, it, it, obviously it's... You know, it's a big auto chess game, but like, um... TFT is, is the least new game from its predecessors, I think. Alright, so next turn that'll cost two, I guess. So I guess I'll do that and roll one. What's better than a rock pool hunter? I don't know. A double token? No, I don't know. I'd rather gamble. Let's gamble. You're doing great out there. There's a new strat we're trying. You're good at this. Next turn that'll cost five. And I just don't know how this this is gonna work. So it costs five, then it costs four on seven. I guess we go to three at the same time as everyone else. Doesn't the, str the strategy doesn't rely on getting a token minion, so that's that's pretty good. <laughs> when should we start drinking New Year's? Or do I just tie? The battle is really raging out there. Uh, an hour ago. Let's try this. Really? Sweet? Uh, yeah, we'll have some later though. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Responsible for 2020 mines we were? I'm not gonna mess it up. Please. Oh, that's an awful hit. Oh, 
Awful hit. Awful hit. Wow, look at that! Turns out you lose if you... get unlucky on every single dice roll. I've got some fresh recruits for you. You down a minion and up a goal. Yeah, light things okay, I guess. Just temporary. <laughs> Solid playable mech. Awful demon, but it has taunt. And all murlocs are playable if you buff them enough. Wow, the worst one. Hm. One in three to lose. I've got some fresh recruits for you. I quite like the Meccano egg. I'm just not a hundred percent sure how to proceed here. What are we missing? We're missing a beast. I don't think it's a good enough Murloc. That's a good enough Murloc. That's a good enough mech. Should we go to six? Hm. I think I'll try it. Damn. 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 That's good at least. Damn. 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 What?! Alright, where's the unlucky switch? I gotta turn this shit off. also a fantastic beast. Phew, giant gas coiler. We can actually go menagerie. Menagerie with death rattles, we could do it. Yeah, that's the build. Oh, I can also play that again, which is not too bad. So I can get a six. Keep the demon. Do I want to keep the demon? Oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. Think so? Fine. Oh, this guy just AFK'd. Okay. It's plus four HP, not eight. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Okay, let's play it. Mech cleave or zap. I like Zap. Lots of Barons right now. It's not very good if I go Baron. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Who are you calling short? I think that's fine. Guaranteed Baron snipe. That's a big one. Lightfang lives, so he takes a lot of damage here. You're good at or against dead, bro. I don't know if I like my triple demon enough. I want an annihilator, annihilator, whatever it is. Level up. No, not, not yet, not yet. Well, I guess we're against a dead guy. So fine, let's level up. Let's just go. No one else is even on five and we're on six. Yeah. Bertrand to try, not too bad. I guess a super early light fang enforcer is very strong though. 
Did lose lots of HP to crap RNG though, so I don't know. I don't know exactly where we end up on that front. Oh, that's good. Jesus. I guess we get Baron. That's quite the army you're building, friend. Thinking maybe dropping the vulgar homunculus once we get a good mech here. Sky Golem's pretty good, but I'd rather have a mech that just dies and doesn't take up space. Better hire a recruit while you can. Actually, I don't know what Murloc I'm looking for. Through so. that. not bad. Alright, let's keep the Murloc then. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. That is a problem. That is no longer a problem. Hmm. Actually, it's still a problem. Actually, wait, I'm not sure if it's still a problem. Oh, that sucks. Close, but not quite. Bank Leaf has a big cleave and I can't play around it easily. We need Kangors. I think we sell the homunculus. Uh, having two taunts is actually a problem. Damn. Terrible. Oh, this is going to get full value now. Also full value. He's dead, boys. It's actually a lot of damage. It's almost 20 damage. Doesn't look like a lot, but... Nice work out there. Bencleaf has the big cleave. Oh, we need to be careful be from that. Mostly looking for Kangors. Um, I mean, that can give me a Divine Shield, so that's worth grabbing for the time being. <sighs> okay. Not 
Nothing scares me. Except mice. Um, I would normally want this here, but I know that Van Cleef has a gigantic cleave, so this is the best way to isolate the cleave. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we got it. Not too, too bad. In the end, anyway. Good at this. I haven't played AFK in, like, forever. She has an 11 win streak. Which is pretty insane. Isn't that bad? Because it, it does four, right? Four is just too much for the board. I think that's bad. Bad idea. Stay on four for a while. I think it's pretty unlikely she has a big cleave. Damn. I don't think I can do 40 damage. They're poisonous 4. I don't think so. It's 5. So, yeah. If I kill neither, I'm dead. 9 damage exact. <sighs> yeah, he had a counter for the assassin. And then we whiffed our pings really hard, and then we didn't get Kangor. Still a pretty good result though. I'm quite happy with the performance of um, Bartendatron.